witchlings, welcome back to my channel. It is me, your local chaotic witch aunt. And today is a video about Samhain or Halloween or All Hallows Eve or All Souls Day. My hair is very long today. Um, I'm getting a haircut this week, tomorrow. Thank God. I want to. This is the cat. You guys have met the dog. This is Stinky Cat. Meow. We love Stinky Cat in this house. Her name is supposed to be Ophelia, but then we just called her Stinky and it stuck. Say hi, baby. Today is my video on Salmon or All Souls Day. I am very excited. This is one of my favorite holidays. We are gonna talk a bit about um, what I like to do on All Souls Day and then I am going to talk kind of a ritual that you guys at home can do if you want. But first, I very much would like some tea, I think. So I'm gonna go make some tea. You guys, do you wanna get down or are you gonna lay here? There she goes, all right. Tea time, BRB. We have our tea. We are back. So Samhain, pronounced, spelled S-A-M-H-A-I-N, yes, um, is pronounced Samhain, not Samhain. Um, if you're like me, you pronounced Samhain for a long ass time, but it is pronounced Samhain. Uh, it typically, I believe, takes place on October 31st to November 1st, and it is also referred to as All Souls Day, uh, All Saints Day, maybe? Tuesday, November 1st, All Saints Day, All Souls Day, Halloween, All Hallows Eve. Halloween is the perfect time for spooky season. I, you know, typically we see Halloween as being associated with witches. Uh, Samhain is listed in, um, I believe, the Wiccan Wheel of the Year, but Samhain was originally, I think, Celtic? Ancient Celtic spiritual tradition. It's a Gaelic word. It says that it Celtic pagans, but that's not specific. <laughs> I'm like, can you be more specific? And what I mean by that is Celtic is like a group of places. It's not just, it's not just one place and the Celtic, if we're talking like way back when, okay, Celts. Uh, but as of recently, did you drop your stupid ball again? Don't look at me like that with those puppy eyes, lay down. Irish, Welsh, Scottish, English, I think. And I'm not sure about the English as being conserved with the Celts, but the Welsh, Irish, and Scottish all have different like folk holidays and pantheons that originated within there. Like we have a uh, source text, the Mabinagi for Welsh pagans and the Tuatha de Danon for the Irish. So it says Celtic, but I don't, I need more specificity there. Then it says pre-Christian Irish. I'm gonna go with Ireland. <laughs> and then of course we have Christianity incorporating it into All Souls Day. I typically celebrate I typically celebrate it as All Hallows Eve or All Souls Day, not necessarily Samhain because, and if you call it Samhain, that's fine, but my celebrations of All Souls Day are gonna be very different from Irish celebrations of All Souls Day, which I do believe they still celebrate Samhain in Ireland. I am unsure. Let me know. If you're Irish and you watch my videos, drop a like. Not drop a like, just tell me. Everything's Celtic Festival of Samhain. Which one? Which Celtic country? Welsh may, it may also be Welsh. 
It may have been a all Celtic country thing as well. But anyways, All Souls Day, Samhain, lots of history there. A lot of people refer to it as Halloween, All Hallows Eve. It is a day where people <coughs> technically go about collecting candy, trick-or-treating. I am too old to trick-or-treat officially. Uh, unofficially, I was, <laughs> I was unofficially too old, like three years ago. <laughs> Um, but I was in college then, so you could still dress up for parties, and like, the trick was you'd sleep with someone you regret, the treat was you get drunk. College. But as a witch, uh, I always love celebrating All Souls Day or All Hallows Eve, um, just as kind of... Um... I celebrate it a lot in reference to my ancestors. I love celebrating holidays where the veil is thin, which is technically twice a year. Um, I think Samhain... I'm gonna kill you. Jesus Christ, he keeps dropping his fucking ball. I love celebrating um, Samhain. I think it's referred to as one of the Celtic fire festivals in the Wiccan year of the Wiccan Wiccan Wheel of the Year, which I do not follow the Wiccan Wheel of the Year. I follow. I <sighs> Hello. Maybe it's time to drink some tea. Maybe a bitch needs a break. I got this little. Ow. That's hot. This little fun uh, strainer from. Ow. I got that fun little tea strainer from Joe Witches. I also got a plant diary, which I'm in love with. I will add some B-roll of it. Last year, I did a All Souls Day ceremony at my partner's house because I was like, now it's, I, we gotta do things. And he did it with me, it was really cute. He definitely has like lost his interest in witchcraft over the year or so we've been dating. The, the joke between us is that <laughs> The joke between us is that he said he was interested in witchcraft to get some pussy. They then must see. It worked. So I can't even be angry. Now he put now he deals with a lot of it, so. But I love spending the day of sound and communicating with my ancestors. Um, if I was close to where my, you know, deceased family members were buried, I would be visiting their gravestones on this day. Instead, I just like to go to the local graveyard. I spent not this past Samhain, but the Samhain before at a graveyard. So it was 2020 Samhain, um, or 2020 All Souls Day I spent at a graveyard. Um, this past Samhain, I didn't really do anything crazy. The ritual was super basic, just a white candle with the names of my deceased loved ones, a little offering, and I placed it in a bowl of water. I swear to fucking God. Benji says hello. All right. I gotta take him to the bathroom. God damn it. He lied to me. Um, he did not have to go to the bathroom. He just wanted attention. So to kind of continue, for me, All Souls Day or All Saints Day has always been about connecting. My ancestors are connecting with the dead. That can look like a lot of different things to a lot of different people. I know people who do dumb suppers. I know people who do seances. For me personally, I like to just spend a day giving offerings to my ancestors and maybe visiting the local dead um, and seeing how they're doing. I don't have quite a strong connection with the local cemetery that I used to because I was like living in Pennsylvania for how long visiting Laurel Hill. And now I have just started recently visiting a cemetery nearby and kind of hanging out there, which means on the actual day of Samhain or All Souls Day, I will most likely be going to that uh, graveyard, saying hello to the spirits, maybe cleaning up a little bit. I always like to clean up the gravestones. But for those of you at home who don't have access to a local graveyard, a local cemetery, uh, here are some things you can do to celebrate All Souls Day, or if you're like me, All Saints Day, to kind of hang about. And we're gonna start with just like my favorite little ritual that I love to do. All you're gonna need is a white candle. I prefer a white prayer candle with a glass casing on it, but really you could do a taper chime, pillar, etc. You're gonna take that, you're going to cleanse it, that is, hi, sound cleansing, that is smoke cleansing, that is slapping it a lot. Whatever you feel comfortable, don't drop it. 
whatever you feel comfortable doing. On that day, or on, you can do this before All Souls Day, or on Hallow's Eve, or like on November 1st. You could also do it like the week before and have this prepped. I like doing it the day of. And I like to do a little prayer to my ancestors along with the gift or the offerings of like an apple, etc. But you're gonna take this white candle and you are going to write the names of the ancestors you wish to connect with, venerate, etc. on this day. So I have like my family names, which I'm not going to show, that I list on the back of the candle. And then I anoint using a little bit of ancestor oil. I got this ancestor oil from Mortellus. You can make your own if you want. If you don't have access to a white prayer candle, you can use white chain, chime, white taper, etc. And in that case, you're gonna be carving the candle um, with the names of the ancestors you wish to connect with, carving or writing it on a piece of paper and putting it underneath. I'm gonna kill you. I like to, when I go to graveyards, a lot of graveyards have rules around what you can and can do in that cemetery slash graveyard. Um, I took a graveyard etiquette class with uh, Oregon Woodwitch, Day Young Cross once, and there's also like lots of protective measures that can go into place before you visit a graveyard. If you want me to do a graveyard etiquette video, please let me know because I will do it. I feel like people have been wanting that for a while and then I moved and then I didn't have a graveyard around me. But anyways, <laughs> and you know, All Souls Day, All Hallows Eve isn't just for the dead you are related to. You can burn a candle to a saint, to a, someone that you really admire that has passed on, so the mighty dead. All of these are really valid opportunities for veneration. The book Honoring Your Ancestors by Mallory Vadaways talks about this a little bit more, including all the different types of ancestors that there are. I'm gonna kill you in your sleep. But I like burning that candle, kind of starting that night and going into the next morning. I already have an ancestor candle that I keep on my ancestral altar. So for me, I'm just gonna be giving some very nice offerings of wine, food, and kind of just celebrating and venerating them. There is a prayer in a book I like. And I believe there's also like an All Souls Day ritual. Two books to look through real quick. Sister Carol's book of spells, Blessings and Folk Magic <clears throat> has a ancestor prayer, if I remember correct, ancestor blessing. There's also a Veni Creator Spiritu. I don't know what that means. It's not in this one, but there is an ancestor prayer in here, ancestor blessing. I also use this for the Three Kings house blessing, which I'll talk about more in my winter uh, video. And here's the ancestor blessing. Blessing written by Mary Elizabeth Fry in 1932. In the things we do, raise the Holy Benedetta. I thought there was an All Souls Day prayer or charm, like something. I don't find, I don't think there's an All Souls Day prayer in here. Anyways, there's no All Souls Day uh, thing in here, but there is a really cool spell to stop gossip. Nice. No All Souls Day, but there is an ancestor prayer in here that I like using. There's also an ancestor prayer or a prayer for the dead in Italian that I like to use that I have a picture of somewhere. Fuck if I know where. Um, there are lots of different ways to commune with your ancestors, to venerate your ancestors, to commune with the dead. If you're interested more, um, as per my spirit work on a one video and learning more about ways to do that, I really recommend The Witch's Guide to the Paranormal by J. Allen Cross and Consorting with Spirits by Jason Miller and Honoring Your Ancestors by Mallory Bedway. So those are my book recommendations for when you're looking to get into spirit work, get more into communing with spirits, whether that's land, animal, saint, etc. So I'm gonna see what people usually do on All Saints Day. It looks like people just lit candles in front of pictures of their deceased loved ones. Honoring any faithfully departed pictures and candles, food and familiar smells. So make a favorite meal cooked by someone who you love who is no longer with you. Saintly study, or you can just talk to the saints, petition the saints. I would say that with All Saints Day, if you, like me, or kind of have full Catholic elements in your practice, this would be a great day to, or start a prayer to them, do a spell for them. Really, a lot of different people celebrate things differently. This is just my one way of doing it. I did provide you with the ancestor candle. Another thing you can do is go visit a cemetery if you have one locally. 
Um, you could even go hang with the land spirits, commune with the spirits that you work with because supposedly the veil is thin on Samhain. I'm probably gonna be doing a lot less on All Souls Day than I plan because that's just my mood. Hi. I'm glad everyone can see him. You're up? Oh, yeah, that's a boy you love. In all reality, I'm also probably gonna spend All Souls Day with my family and celebrating my family, starting a novena, and prepping for NaNoWriMo. Vlog's coming soon. I'll also probably spend a good amount of the day reading. I'm a big reader. I love reading shit. It's okay if you don't do anything for All Souls Day or Halloween. It's also okay if you go really over the top and do a full-blown seance or um, a spell of your choice. It really is up to you, but I did want to share a little bit of what I do and a ritual for those at home who are interested in mimicking what I do, not mimicking, and trying out what I do. I'm gonna go do something with the DOG so he stops driving me up the goddamn wall. Thank you so much for watching. If you want, you can like, comment, subscribe, and turn the bell on, but absolutely no pressure. Remember to drink water. Let me know what you are doing for Samhain slash All Souls Day slash Halloween in the comments. Maybe you'll just be giving out cursed candies to kids. Have a great rest of your day. See you at the Benedetti.